What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this another edition of Cub Reacts as we jump into a brand new one from the one and only Alkaline, a new single, a new animated video that goes by the name Weekend. Very excited to jump into this one. It is actually just gone Friday, so it is the weekend as well. I'm hoping this is putting me into the weekend mood. As always, my friends, I hope you're doing well. And if you are new to the channel, that you're hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, all of that good stuff. I'm very excited to dive into this one and properly break it down. I love hearing new alkaline music, so let's jump right into it, people. Uh, yeah, let's go. So solid so far. Big Cynthiaery chords. I'm loving it. Anything, anything you in and you can't rank. No arrow, no dead, they are ticking no wrong band. Okay. Enter you, enter inside your own. So we're getting a skippy alkaline. That's good. That always puts me into a good mood. Uh, the thing with alkaline that I've always enjoyed is he is able to do a lot of different things, but maintain his presence. Um, I think this is the sort of instrumental that I love to hear alkaline on. Very synthy, very kind of hard hitting drums, big booming subline below, but enough room within the uh, rhythm to allow him to maneuver those pockets and really utilize um, his vocal, which is a very unique vocal. It always has been um, very electronic sounding vocal. He just sounds so natural over this type of uh, instrumental. Sounding solid, very punchy, very bouncy, right from the jump. Uh, let's see where we end up. I love that line. Um, what is the line of It's the Weekend? Something along the lines of We Ain't Sleeping. Very, very cool. Exactly what I like to do on the weekend. Hard to get any sleep on the weekend, and that's when I'm supposed to recharge. But again, this is Alkaline in perfect form, man. Um, he's been on a good run recently. Obviously, we had World Domination last week. Uh, this one landing this week. I'm assuming he's in a bit of an album run. Um, that's what I presume from the amount of singles he is releasing, unless he's just actively releasing singles. You never really know these days. But um, it definitely feels like there is a project on the way. This one's sounding very, very solid with the way it's been put together again. as It's sounding very sort of classic Alkaline, you know? Um, just all about the kind of skippiness of the flows, the very electronic sounding vocal. There's so many things to like about this one. Yeah, this is legit, man. Everything about this is exactly up the road of what I want from an alkaline tune. Again, the uh, punchy kick drums layered with those chord lines in there, again, giving it that sort of classic bashment feel. Then on top of that as well, um, the uh, bass line below, really kind of subtle drum work with the sort of rhythmic elements, the hi-hats and the shakers and things. They're really, really subtle. This is all about big, impactful um, elements. It's all about sort of uh, very sharp transients as well. For those that aren't aware, transients are essentially the point of a uh, of a sound that is the impact. Um, so obviously, a kick drum has a very kind of uh, uh, very kind of precise um, transient. When you're kind of playing guitar, it's the point of the pluck that is the transient. That sort of thing. Um, the thing I always like about good alkaline tunes is that they always have very very um, potent transients within the actual instrumentation. This works really nicely. Oh man, that panic is awesome. I'm loving the fact we're getting like a full kind of uh, a full kind of plateful of alkaline vocal that is just literally sweeping around the top of your head on this part of the uh, on this part of the tune. Really, really nice use of the electronic vocal again. Nice delays, nice reverb, and again a nice use of chorusing, just giving it this kind of very wide feel. This is what I like about Alkaline Man. Like, he does the simple things well, um, and then he expands on the simple things. Like, there's no getting away from his flow patterns on this. There's no getting away from the actual vocal melodies. We're getting that really nice, almost plucked style vocal that we hear from him on tunes that bang. Um, I'm really enjoying this one, man. How are you guys feeling about it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always keen to hear your opinions. Um, fabulous people. Blaze it, blaze it, one blaze it. Live, oh yeah. Okay. 
really nice, man. There's something so smooth about um, the backing vocals on this. Again, we're not used to kind of hearing the harmonies as much from Alkaline. It's all about the lead vocal and that kind of sharpened electronic edge. But this, there's a bit more of a harmonic texture going on. He's utilizing that vocal line and giving us some sort of background um, texture as well. Just giving us a real sonic landscape of what his vocal can do. Um, again, that kick drum is thumping, like right through the heart of the mix. The actual bass line isn't that potent on this, but the kick drum is literally driving it forward. Like it's a kick drum you can't sit still to. Really, really nicely done, man. I need to work out who's on the uh, production credits for this one. Um, but yeah, sounding great. This is when you know Alkaline's in his bag as well, man. You get these sort of almost sporadic extended vocals. You kind of get like... That's such a common uh, pattern we hear from Alkaline when it comes to vocal melody. The skippiness is doing absolute bits. He feels so at home over this instrumental. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but this feels like the area I want to hear Alkaline in. Sort of classic sounding um, electronic dancehall instrumentals. This is his bag. This is where he dominates, um, I feel, more than anyone else. And this one's crazy so far. Life are the best thing Buy anything you want The money are the next thing Yeah we, yeah we, yeah we Feel great So we celebrate It's true Not a water, not a man Can get it It sounds comfy, bro It's a record Still a pony run Keep on yours and keep a dedication Look over and come Now nobody And again, you see what I mean about the, um sort of vocal medleys he's going through that sort of there's almost like this kind of backlift to it um, that just gives it this sort of forward motion really really like the way he's approached this one man just relentless the entire way through um, it hasn't felt like too much of a verse chorus structure either it just felt like he's gone to the studio and gone look this is what I've got to say just let me say it the way I want to say it almost feels kind of freestyle-esque in the way it's come together um, but sounding so so clean man again Alkaline's in good form at the moment um, I mentioned it before we had World Domination last week we had a new single a couple of weeks before that as well i think he's in album mode personally um i don't know if there's been an album confirmed if there has been do let me know down below um but i'm not entirely sure go so i'm assuming for the final sort of section we're just going to get instrumental which we will dive into but again a quick point to make if you look at the majority of the uh sort of best reggae and dancehall artists over the years all of them have had kind of the ability to scat um, I don't think there are as many newer school artists that have that ability, um, but Alkaline is definitely one of them. The ability to just kind of say things and make it sound cool, say kind of noises and kind of rhyming sounds that don't actually that aren't actually sentences, but to make them sound cool and make them sound kind of um, almost encased within a tune. Alkaline is one of the few people of, out of the newer breeds that is genuinely able to do that to a top top level. Um, right, let's dive into the rest of the instrumental and then give our final breakdown at the end. Hear the structure so much more when they let it run. Yeah, well. Loving the chords on top of the kicks. Really nicely laid out tune. But there we go then. Alkaline, this one. Weekend, uh, brand new from him. It's the animated video. We might see a video for this one. I'm not too sure. To be honest with you, we're at a point now with um, with YouTube channels where if you could just put an animated video out there that does the job, you don't need a music video half the time. The only reason you would do a music video is to kind of double up on views. Um... But I'm noticing it with a lot of dancehall artists, a lot of artists in general around the globe. Visualizers and animated videos are definitely the way to go if you want, like, a, not like a low budget, but an impactful kind of visual to go with a tune without having to spend all of the budget you have to on a big music video production. But again, liking this one, I think Alkaline is very much in his bag overall. I think this is definitely an area that Alkaline thrives in, big electronic sounding dancehall instrumentals. I think his vocal on this as well is him very much in the zone. It feels like he's back to his best um, in regards to the patterns, in regards to the pocket. It's the way he manoeuvres the instrumental. Very, very clean indeed. Um, and I'm a big fan. Hopefully you did enjoy it as much as I did. If you enjoyed this uh, technical analysis and musical breakdown, uh, please make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, all of that good stuff. And we'll be back very soon with more reactions on the channels. Uh, so yeah, have a good one. Oh, 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 sound, sounding so good right now.
But the sun in a bright and tall. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cop Cam TV. Stay locked. <laughs>